Before we get started into the tutorial, I wanted to show you the difference between this really busy yarn from Lion Brand and a solid colored yarn. As you can see, you can see the stitch pattern a whole lot better, and I really think that solid colors work better for this hat. So I just wanted to let you know that when you are shopping for yarn. So I'm going to be using Yarn B Dream Supreme for this tutorial. I absolutely love this yarn. If you haven't tried it, you really need to try it. You should be able to get two of these hats out of one skein, and this is the color linen. And if you're trying to substitute, you need a size 6 super bulky weight that is comparable. I'm also going to be using a size 9 millimeter hook. To begin, you will need to chain 42. This hat will be made from the bottom up. Being very careful not to twist your chain, you're going to slip stitch into the back loop only of the very first stitch you made. If you look carefully, it's this right here. Those are the back loops. So just slip stitch into the first back loop that you see there. And now we're going to chain one and we're going to use those back loops for this entire round. You're going to single crochet in each back loop around and make sure that you still have 42 stitches at the end of this round. It's sometimes very easy to increase or decrease. So just keep doing that all the way around. So I'm going to make an invisible slip stitch. This will make your seam virtually seamless. So just remove your hook from your working yarn and insert it into that first stitch from back to front. And then you're going to grab your working loop and put it back on your hook. And just slide it to the back. Tighten up your strand and keep going as usual. Now we're going to chain one and again we're going to be working in the back loops. That's those loops right here. This is the front loop. This is the back loop. We're going to single crochet in each stitch around in those back loops and that's going to give us a nice ribbed edging in the front. We're going to be working into those remaining loops later so be sure to follow it. You're just going to repeat that all the way around. So at the end, I'm going to make another invisible slip stitch. Tighten your working yarn and continue on. We're going to chain one. Now, if you look, here is that ribbed edging that was left whenever we worked in the back loop only. We are actually going to be working into those loops. So we're going to single crochet in the first two stitches in the back loop only. And then I want you to look at your stitches in groups of three. We're going to be working backwards and forwards. And we're going to be going back to the stitch that's remaining underneath that very first stitch there. So we're going to work backwards and forwards and we're going to skip that remaining loop in between so that it makes a point. So you're going to double crochet in those remaining loops moving backwards and forwards and we're going to double crochet two together. So yarn over, insert your hook into that indicated remaining loop, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two. Now you're just going to leave those two loops on your hook. Now you're going to yarn over, skip the next remaining loop below, and insert your hook into the next one. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through just two loops on your hook. Now you have two double crochet halfway done on your hook there. Yarn over and go through all three loops, and that is a double crochet two together. This gives us the look of post stitches without actually making post stitches. 
and that creates the point there when we put two doubles together. So since we made a stitch, we need to skip that stitch in the back or we're gonna accidentally increase and your hat will be way too big. So skip that next stitch and we're gonna single crochet in the back loops of the next two stitches. And we're gonna do it again. We're gonna move backwards and forwards, making that same double crochet two together in those remaining loops down below, skipping that middle one. So it's going to be the next remaining loop that's open. Yarn over, insert your hook, and pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through just two. That's one double crochet halfway made. You're gonna skip the next remaining loop. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next one. Pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through two. Now you have two double crochet halfway done on your hook. Yarn over, go through all three. So that gives us our point there. And we're gonna skip the stitch in the back so that we don't accidentally increase. And we're gonna just repeat this pattern all the way around. You're gonna single crochet in the back loop of the next two stitches. And then you're gonna double crochet two together, just like I showed you. In this loop and that loop, skipping that middle one. So you're just gonna repeat this process all the way around the hat. And don't forget to skip the stitch behind those double crochet two together. So you're gonna do two singles in the back loop only and a double crochet two together. Two singles in the back loop only, double crochet two together. Just repeat that all the way around. And I'll meet you at the end. So here we are at the end. Your last stitch of this round should be a double crochet two together. And now of course you're gonna skip that last stitch in the back and we are going to make an invisible slip stitch. Again, this will make our seam virtually seamless. So you definitely wanna to try to do this or your seam of your hat is gonna show up. So now we're gonna start the next round. You're gonna chain one and we're gonna work in the back loops only again in this round. And you're just simply going to make one single crochet in every stitch around through the back loops only. It's gonna make that nice little ribbed edging again. We are gonna be working into it, so be sure to do it. Now you're gonna join with a regular slip stitch in the first two stitches. We really need to shift our work just slightly. So, slip stitch in the first two stitches to get us where we need to go. Now we're gonna work one chain and we're gonna work a single crochet in the back loop only of that second one where we slip stitched. And then you're gonna single crochet in the back loop only of the next stitch. And now we're gonna double crochet two together just like we did before only we want our points to line up, so we're going to go in the remaining loops before and after. So we're gonna actually be skipping the top of that double crochet two together. And this will just line up our points. So double crochet two together, moving backwards and forwards, just like we did before. We're gonna skip that next one and double crochet two together in that next one. Your points here should line up of your double crochet stitches. And then of course, don't forget to skip the stitch in the back, single crochet 
in the back loop only of the next two stitches. Double crochet two together just like we did before, moving backwards and forwards around that double crochet two together below. And don't forget to skip the stitch in the back. You're just going to repeat that to the end just like we did before. So single crochet in the back loop only of the next two stitches. Double crochet two together around those remaining loops below, and then be sure to skip the stitch behind the stitch that you just made. And that's what it should look like. So you're just going to have these points here lined up if you have it done correctly. So you're just going to repeat that all the way around and I'll meet you at the end. So here we are at the end. I'm going to join with an invisible slip stitch in that first stitch. Now we're going to chain two and this is not going to count as a stitch. We're going to be working in the back loops only of this entire round. Half double crochet in every stitch around in the back loop only. You should still only have 42 stitches, so be sure that you're counting after each round to make sure you haven't accidentally increased. So just continue doing that all the way around. I'm going to join with an invisible slip stitch. Now for this round we're going to work in the third loop. So here's the front loop, here's the back loop, and if you turn it to the back you'll see this third loop right here. It's actually parallel to the back loop. So that's where we're going to be working our stitches in this round in that third loop in the back. So we're going to chain two, and again it does not count as a stitch. In the third loops, we're going to half double crochet two together. This is also known as a decrease. Now you're going to half double crochet in the third loops until you reach the front of the hat. So Basically just the next 19 stitches or so. The easiest way to tell is to fold the hat in half, and then you're just going to half double crochet in the third loop till you reach the front. Right there. So here I am at the halfway point, just like I showed you. I've half double crocheted in the third loop till I reach the front. And now we're going to decrease one more time. So half double crochet two together in the third loops of the next two stitches. And then we're just going to half double crochet in the third loop to the end. So here we are at the end. I'm going to make an invisible slip stitch. You should have 40 half double crochet at the end of this round since we decreased twice. Now we're going to chain two. This will not count as a stitch. You're just going to half double crochet in the third loop of each stitch around. So just continue that all the way around and I'll meet you at the end. Now I'm going to join with a regular slip stitch. This is what it should be looking like. And I do recommend that you measure before we move on because we're going to start decreasing after this round and you want to make sure your hat will be big enough. 
So my width here is measuring 9.25 inches and my length, which is the most important part of this before we start decreasing, your length should measure four and a half inches. We're gonna chain two, it will not count as a stitch. Working in both loops, we're gonna half double crochet in the first three stitches. So you should have three half doubles, and now we're gonna decrease, which is of course the half double crochet two together, over the next two stitches. So you should have three half doubles and then a decrease. Now you're gonna half double in the next three. And then after you do your three half doubles, you should decrease over the next two stitches. So you're just gonna repeat this process all the way around. So you should have three half doubles, then a decrease, three half doubles, then a decrease. And you're just gonna do that all the way around. You're gonna join with a regular slip stitch skipping over that beginning chain two. Now we're gonna chain two, and of course that does not count as a stitch. We're going to half double crochet in the first two stitches. So you should have two, and now we're gonna decrease over the next two. Half double crochet in the next two stitches. Half double crochet, decrease over the next two stitches. You're just gonna keep repeating that process all the way to the end, decreasing in every third stitch. And I'll meet you at the end. Here we are at the end. I'm going to skip over that chain two and slip stitch. Now we're going to chain two. Again, that does not count as a stitch. Half double in that very first stitch. And then decrease over the next two stitches. Half double in the next stitch. And decrease. You're just going to decrease in every other stitch in this round, and I'll meet you at the end. So we're gonna join with a slip stitch just like before, and if you wanted a messy bun hat, you should stop here and then just skip to towards the end when I add some rounds to the bottom. But I'm gonna continue for a hat. Chain two, it will not count as a stitch. And then you're just going to decrease in every stitch around. You're gonna join with a slip stitch, and you should have eight half doubles at the end of this round. You're gonna cut your yarn, leaving a long tail, and we're gonna thread that tail onto a yarn needle, and we are just going to go through the front loops all the way around with our yarn needle. This is called whip stitching. So you're gonna whip stitch in the front loops all the way around. 
and this will give us the ability to cinch the hat closed. So just pull tightly on the end of your yarn and cinch the hat shut. And then you're going to take your needle to the inside and knot off your tail. Now you could go ahead and weave in this tail, but I am actually going to be using this tail here for a pom-pom button that I put on the inside of the hat. And here's one that I've already done. I get these buttons from angieandbrit.com and it has the care instructions engraved right on the button. And these pom-poms have elastic and I just slide it through the top of the hat and wrap it around the button and the customer knows they can take it off. So I'm gonna save that for later, but I am gonna weave in that other tail. Once you've woven in your tails, now you're going to measure. You will see that your hat is probably too short. Mine is about seven inches, and I really want it to be between eight and nine inches, just so it will fit the average head. So I'm actually going to join at the bottom and make some rounds of single crochet. Now you could work in these loops right here that are obvious, but I actually want those to be left alone. So I'm gonna flip my hat to the inside and work through the back humps right here. So it's these stitches right here that are kind of hard to see. That's where I'm going to be making my single crochet stitches. And I'm just gonna do that so that there's gonna be a nice edge here that's gonna match the edge here. So you can do it however you want, but this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna join in that back hump and I'm going to chain one. Then you're just gonna make a single crochet in the back humps of each stitch around. So just pay real close attention to what I'm doing. Take your time, don't rush. It's gonna feel like you're working from the back to the front. As you can see, it's leaving me a nice little ribbed edge that matches the one below. And you're just gonna repeat this process all the way around and I'll meet you at the end. So here's what it should be looking like. You should stop and measure right here in case your hat is long enough. Our tension may not be exactly the same. So mine measures about seven and a half inches, so I'm gonna do one more round because I'd like it to be about eight inches. So I'm going to do another round of single crochet, and I'm gonna join with an invisible slip stitch to that first stitch. I'm gonna chain one, and I'm gonna make single crochet through the back loop only. Again, this is just a personal preference. I like the ribbed edging that it makes, and I think the hat looks a little more aesthetically pleasing with it. So you're just gonna repeat that all the way around. And here's what it should look like. I'm going to go ahead and cut my yarn. I'm gonna make an invisible join, but you could realistically just do another invisible slip stitch if this is a little too complicated for you. As you can see, it makes just a perfect ending there. So you're just, of course, going to weave in all of your tails, but I wanna just show you right quick. You can barely see the seam of this hat because we used that invisible slip stitch. So it's definitely worth it. So go ahead and weave in all of your tails, and I'm gonna measure it. It should measure about eight inches or so, very close to it, and that's good. And you are done. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching.